Hello everyone, I'm Vikram P. Maduri here and in this session I'm going to give you an overview of Adobe Forms. Adobe Forms is the advanced version of the existing forms that we normally use as scripts and smart forms. So there are uh, certain uh, certain uh, features that we have in Adobe Forms which we could we we can't achieve those uh, kind of uh, features in scripts or smart forms. So just let us have an overview of why we have to go for Adobe Forms and what are the additional features that we have uh, when compared to the scripts and smart forms uh, we normally use in a app. So. Uh, from the end user's perspective, uh, it's just a PDF format uh, that we can take a print of. And uh, uh, if it's if it's a if it's a read-only uh, Adobe form, and if it is an interactive Adobe form, uh, it will be unable to even uh, the end user will be unable to enter the data as well into into the particular form. So here, like um, from the end, user, end user's perspective, it's a PDF document. So the user simply does a below step. So they they, they enter this transaction and uh, they give the data and they take the printout of it uh, through the spool request. So this is what normally uh, it happens from the end user's perspective. But from the technical developer's uh, perspective, that is ABAP, uh, ABAPer's perspective, there is a lot to be understood from the uh, from the Adobe Forms perspective uh, uh, development and uh, how it works. And what are the possible validations and layout designs he can make with it and, and so on so there are basically three components uh, for the uh, for every form uh, which we design in adobe form those are interface context and layout i'm going to show you these three things in the uh, in the in the coming next session uh, in, in on the screen so basically we get this on the transaction code sfp sfp is the transaction code for adobe forms where we design first we design the interface then we design the context and then we design the layout so coming to the interface what exactly we do at the interface level is we determine data passed to the form interfaces can be uh, created in SEAD or sfp transaction reusable repository objects can be used in n number of forms so if you design an interface, you can use that interface in n number of forms. Basically, at this point of time, you can you can imagine that interface as similar to what we design in a function module. So what we do in a function module is like uh, we give the import parameters, export parameters, and all this, right? So the same thing happens in interface also. So interface, uh, in, in interface, we give the you know input out parameters and all these features which we will in turn use it in the form design. So what exactly is context is? Context is basically it's something which will link the interface with the layout. So in context also will come at the layout uh, level only. So the context determines which data of the interface included in the form can be used in the layout. So like uh, which are important parameters, global param global data, whatever we design in the interface level. Uh, have to be mapped to the form right so they're where exactly it has to be mapped is what we are going to decide in the context and only data that are passed to the forms context can be used inside the layout additionally here we can uh, we can create uh, own data specific to the form like images text modules graphics etc and layout the layout of the form consists of static element in text view or dynamic elements the layout requires Adobe Lifecycle Designer to be installed. So the, the layout of this uh, form is technically stored as XML. This will be stored as XML. So the prerequisite for us to run an Adobe form uh, project on your system is that we need to have a Adobe Lifecycle Designer installed in your system. If it is not there, the layout will not be open. So it, this is a prerequisite that we have. So in most of the installations that we normally have in SAP um, ECC systems, uh, we'll not be having this Adobe Lifecycle Designer. It needs to be installed additionally. So only if it is installed, you can you can open the layout. Otherwise, layout will not be open. So what exactly is the architecture of Adobe Forms? The Adobe Interactive uh, Forms technology allows creation of interactive Adobe Forms where the user can uh, enter data. The data entered is directly pushed into SAP. 
uh, along with the uh, SAP workflow, the SAP Adobe Interactive Forms is a powerful mechanism for providing a high quality user interface. So what exactly happens here is like, you know, you can give a web link uh, to uh, Adobe form. Uh, the end user can open that web link and enter some data, save it. And that data saved will directly go into the SAP database. Uh, the whatever database with we are maintaining for the SAP software. That's what uh, is a simple process that we have for Adobe Forms, which we don't have it in scripts or smartphones because in scripts or smartphones, we have only read only option. You don't have the option of entering the data. So with Adobe Interactive uh, Forms, the user can email the Adobe Interactive Form as an email attachment or click buttons on the Adobe Form. An SAP system would uh, automatically take further action such as uh, creation of uh, document sets, start of approval forms, uh, etc. So it reduces operational costs and improves business process via automation. So previously we always had to enter this data in some HTML page and then save it in that H uh, database which is there in the back end of HTML. That data which is there in the HTML uh, database would be again transferred into our ECC, ECC database and then from there you design the forms. It, it was a big process but now we have a cut shot method uh, with Adobe Forms so a lot of resources also are you know uh, saved with this process. Now easy to customize and change organizational forms and put additional data, increased efficiency and accuracy, faster process due to automation. So user can fill the form and send it to send it via email also by automatically pushing the data into SAP. So data retrieval will do it from the database to the application program and uh, the form logic will write in the ABAP function module uh, the, uh, and uh, that function module in turn will call that PDF form and we can print that form uh, and directly you can execute that form. So you have uh, two options of uh, developing an Adobe form. You can do it in a Java stack or uh, a BAP stack. So when you do it in, in, a, in a Java stack, we have Adobe document services, which needs to be, which is also a mandatory for us to run the Adobe forms and document services as well. And uh, a BAP stack, we have the PDF code, we have FP runtime and uh, post-processing framework and, uh, and application code. So the two scenarios how PDF forms are used in SAP system integration into classical lab app programs integration into browser based interactive first scenario. So these are the two scenarios that we have. So you have it in a app. So you're going to run it in within the SAP. That's the first scenario. The second scenario is like you are, you are going to give a link and that link will uh, whenever the end users or what whoever is the person who would like to see that PDF would be opening it in a website or uh, the portal. Uh, this is the interactive scenario. So the intra integration into classical lab programs, processing data retrieval, user communication, result in the process of uh, lab uh, screens. But in the interactive forms, uh, we display that in the web browser where the user is allowed to enter data into the form and trigger for the process. So J2E service apart from uh, Adobe document services. So this J2E services, uh, if they are installed, it provides services like document service data manager, uh, document services front uh, font manager, PDF manipulation module, XML form module, document service services and license services also will be uh, available when we have this uh, Java stack installed in our system. So advantages of Adobe forms is so this is very important because uh, we need to understand what exactly are the advantages of Adobe Forms when compared to the uh, scripts or smart forms. So flexible tool for designing the form. Uh, we have uh, a special editor and then we have graphics can be included in the form directly. No conversion is required. Uh, whereas if you remember in scripts and smart forms, we normally always use it as a .bmp file. A different project page orientations like uh, in smart forms. This is all already available in smart forms as well. This feature of uh, page orientation. Existing PDF or uh, Word document can be imported. This is an excellent feature that we have in Adobe form where exactly we can directly upload a PDF uh, or a Word document which is already there. And that need that can be completely converted into a PDF form. 
so in this scenario what ha what happens is like you don't have to design the form from the scratch you just have to make use of that form and uh, automatically the, all those uh, features will be identified and uh, being designed by the system itself in the pdf uh, adobe form so barcodes can be printed on all printers of uh, types uh, postscripts pcl pdf or zebra etc so form a regular repository objects and has conversion and version management this adobe forms can be integrated in the browser based environment and made interactive so this made interactive is something which uh, will not be having in smartphone but you can also make it uh, a, a smartphone as a browser enabled but we cannot make it as interactive so this is a specific feature that we have here only in in uh, adobe forms so the two things that we can conclude and we, the most important uh, uh, you know uh, features that we have here is like you can you can just upload a document and automatically it will be designed and you know it, it can also be made interactive so i'm going to show you this on the live system how uh, how exactly we upload the document from uh, our, our system and automatically it will be it will be converted into a design so i'll show you that on the coming sessions and in chapter two we normally are discussing about the interfaces so interface uh, form the link between the ab app and the adobe form as i told you that it, it will be a uh, uh, interface and the ab app program can only pass the data to the form if alone it is declared in the interface so types of interfaces ab app dictionary based smart forms compatible and uh, xml based schema so ab app dictionary based and smart forms compatible are normally used for print scenarios whereas xml based schema is used for primarily for web brand pro scenarios so ab app dictionary based interfaces if we create interface to be used in ab app print programs then we should go for ab app based dictionary interfaces the same can be done in the smart form based interface also but in but it is not recommended uh, due to the following reason so uh, so these are like okay so let us let us consolidate these things so the interfaces will be of three types this is very important concept here A dictionary based smart forms based and xml based so when we come to the you know ABAP dictionary based interfaces uh, if we create interfaces to be used in ABAP print programs, then we should go for ABAP based dictionary interfaces. The, the same can be done in smart form based interfaces also, but it, it is not recommended due to the following reason. So get the wrong parameters and uh, XSF, uh, XDF parameters are not allowed. If the spool request contains several PDF documents, only one document will be returned back. And uh, uh, only ABAP uh, dictionary based allow you to determine the settings from BCS business communication services. And if several forms are going to use the same interface, then think about uh, optional parameters to provide flexibility to the form. So the components of form is like these are the various components of the form which I'm going to show you on the system. So these are the various components of the form in the in the interface level. So when we enter into the into, into the SFP transaction and when we create an interface, uh, this is what is the screen that we are going to see. And in this we have the import export parameters. We have global definitions and all. So form interface consists of import parameters, export and, and uh, exceptions. The import parameters defined for the interface is used to pass application data to form at runtime we have the export parameters export parameters cannot be created for the ABAP dictionary based form it can only be created with the, those interfaces that are of type smart form based so and they have exceptions can be raised in the ABAP dictionary based interface these are traditional exception concepts that can be raised by a raise exception or messages so if the exception is raised in the interface it will be actually raised in the generated interface hence by querying uh, the size of rc of the generated interface exceptions can be handled this is all about the exceptions so there are also parts of an interface that are actually invisible from outside they cannot be accessed from the application program so yeah so having said this i'm continuing this concept uh, the same overview i'll be continuing in the next session so this session ends here and uh, let's uh, catch up in the part two of the coming session and um, that's it for this uh, session and uh, let me continue from here uh, 
uh, in the next session.